The Chevy Colorado is a mid-size king and easily beats all of the competitors in this segment. The Chevy Colorado delivers excellent truck performance and also excellent off-road performance with the powerful ZR2 Bison model. However, not everything is perfect. This pickup truck has some cons to it besides the positives. So stay with us while we cover the 2024 Chevy Colorado, an honest assessment of its pros and cons. Let's start with the pros and learn more about the positive aspects when it comes to owning a new 2024 Chevy Colorado. Number five, powerful engine. One of the main advantages of the Colorado over its competitors is its very powerful 2.7 liter turbocharged engine. This engine, although small, packs a ton of power. There are two versions, a low output and a high output. The low output is intended for the entry level Colorado models, while the high output is meant for the more capable models. And if you need a truck for work, you definitely need the high output model because this engine delivers like nothing else out there. The high output version makes 310 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque, which is plenty of power for the chassis that the Colorado is using. This engine comes with the Silverado as well, so you get the idea of how powerful this engine really is. The engine is built like a diesel and the block is extremely tough and durable. It's able to take anything you throw at it. Although many Chevy guys bashed it when it was introduced, in reality, this is a great engine. And what's most important about this engine is the serious amount of low-end torque that it delivers. This engine is turbocharged, so power is instant, which makes it perfect for towing. Number four, great towing and payload capacity. And when it comes to towing and payload, we can simply say that this truck outperforms everything out there. The Chevy Colorado is easily one of the best mid-sized trucks that is able to pull as much as the entry-level full-size trucks. The tow rating of this truck is rated at 7,700 pounds, which makes the Colorado the best in this class of mid-size trucks. Only the Jeep Gladiator is able to tow the same amount of load, while the Ford Ranger is able to tow up to 7,500 pounds. Other competitors are far behind. The Tacoma and Nissan Frontier are able to tow up to 6,500 pounds, and the Honda Ridgeline is able to tow a moderate 5,000 pounds. So you see how the Chevy Colorado simply outperforms everything in this class of mid-sized trucks. That's why if you need a truck for work purposes, we really recommend the Chevy Colorado for you as a future purchase. When it comes to the payload capacity of this pickup truck, we can say that the truck can take a good payload of 1,700 pounds. In terms of payload, the Colorado performs on the same level as the competition, but overall, 1,700 pounds is more than enough for many people's needs. Number three, good fuel economy. We live at times when fuel is getting more and more expensive, and finding a vehicle that will save fuel is really important. So the Colorado is definitely one of these vehicles that will save you a few bucks at the gas station. The two-wheel drive version of the Colorado will deliver about 20 miles per gallon in the city and 25 miles per gallon on the highway, while the four-wheel drive version performs slightly worse. This model will bring you 19 miles per gallon in the city and 23 miles per gallon on the highway. Another thing to note is the tires. If you run larger 33 or 35-inch all-terrain tires, your miles per gallon numbers will suffer a bit more and you'll get an average of 14 miles per gallon in the city and 18 miles per gallon on the highway. So if you care about MPGs, you should consider this because with larger tires, your MPGs will go down significantly. But overall, the Chevy Colorado is a really good performer and easily beats the competition. For a mid-sized truck, this model performs really well. However, in the near future, things can improve even more if Chevy decides to introduce a hybrid version of the Chevy Colorado. Number two, many trim levels. Another big highlight of the 2024 Chevy Colorado is the abundance of trim levels that you can get. With the Chevy Colorado, the choice is pretty much endless and you're able to get a ton of options for your budget. The most basic trim that you can get is the work truck. The WT model has all of the basics that you need if you're a contractor and need this truck for work purposes. Then you have the LT. The LT in general is a work truck with options. With the LT, you get the ability to get more color options and more interior features compared to the standard work truck model. On top of the LT, you have the Trail Boss. This truck is similar to the LT, but with some off-road characteristics. It's not filled with options, but we can't say that the Trail Boss is the truck you need since this truck is not as expensive 
and has a decent amount of options. While the more expensive trim levels that you can get are the Z71 and ZR2, the Z71 is the more entry-level trim, while the ZR2 and the Bison version of the ZR2 are the top models out there. The ZR2 is a clear competitor to the Ford Ranger Raptor, and we can honestly say that the ZR2 delivers a better performance than the Ranger Raptor. Number 1. Ton of Technology And one of the main highlights of the 2024 Chevy Colorado is the technology that this truck delivers. The Colorado is easily one of the best performers in this class. Even the most basic work truck model delivers a really good interior with two giant screens, and the overall impression of the Colorado is really good when you enter the cabin. You have an integrated Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and connecting your phone to the truck is rather easy. There are USB ports, wireless charging, and other goodies that you will find very useful. This is why if you're looking for a really good truck that offers a great amount of technology, even on the base models, the Chevy Colorado is the way to go. We covered the pros, now let's take a look at the cons. In other words, what are the downsides of owning a Chevy Colorado? There are still some drawbacks to it. So let's take a look at them real quick. Number four, base engine is rather weak. The first downside of the Chevy Colorado is the engine, specifically the low output version of the 2.7 liter that is used on the entry level models. This engine's performance can be described as poor. In terms of numbers, this engine makes only 237 HP and 260 pound feet of torque. This is 170 pound feet of torque less compared to the high output version. So when you enter and drive a low output model, you'll feel the lack of performance. The acceleration is quite poor, and overall, the experience is equally poor. That's why if you want to get a good driving model, you need to go for the high output version because this model will deliver you the performance you need, something that can cost a good penny. That's why we give the Chevy Colorado a thumbs down because of this decision to add a very low powered version as the base. Number three, lack of configurability. Another big con of the Chevy Colorado is the lack of configurability. This model is lacking in this area as well. So what do we mean by configurability? Well, the lack of configurability means that you have only one cab and one bed option, something which is not good for everybody. This is the full-size crew cab with a five-foot bed. For comparison, with the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma, you have a smaller extended cab with a longer six-foot bed and many people out there need a longer bed in order to add more equipment or materials, especially contractors who need this truck for work. This is why we think that with this decision, Chevy lost many customers. The lack of options causes people to go elsewhere and purchase a competitor truck. Number two, no hybrid option. Another downside of the 2024 Chevy Colorado is the lack of a hybrid option. We hope that Chevy would bring a hybrid for this model year, but unfortunately, they didn't. The Toyota Tacoma already has a hybrid model, and having the same in the Chevy Colorado will be a really good idea as well. A hybrid system will boost the performance and also the fuel economy. So with this system, you'll be able to get the same miles per gallon numbers both in the city as well as on the highway, which is something that is not possible with the standard internal combustion model. That's why we hope that Chevy will bring a hybrid for 2025. Number one, poor driving capability. Another thing to add when it comes to the 2024 Chevy Colorado is the poor driving capability. Not to get us wrong, the Chevy Colorado drives really well for a mid-size truck. But with the recent developments and the introduction of the new Tacoma with an independent rear suspension, things have changed quite a bit. So in the near future, we strongly hope that Chevy will ditch the leaf spring suspension for a proper multi-link setup that will move the Colorado into a different category.